Hey guys, how's it going? As you can see, whew, I am in the middle. Yeah, I, I would say I'm in the middle. Um, actually, I just uploaded my video from Monday. And I think I was watching the first few minutes. And I think I said I was gonna do something Monday that I'm about to say I'm gonna do, which I didn't end up doing. Who cares, really? The point is, I'm this sweaty, and you see the polar? I've burned 462 calories, um, and I have my punching gloves on, so I was doing um, turbo fire. But I came in here um, in the middle because I wanted to share a couple things. And, and one of the things I'm really, really gonna do in my life, <laughs> I might have spoken to this on Monday when I shot that video, was to just really, um, I, I kind of felt like when I was in LA, my whole world was starting to, or I was allowing my whole world to just really kind of overwhelm me again, and I felt out of, out of control of, you know, not addressing everything I needed to, and just feeling, you know, overwhelmed by the mountain, right? And it's time to turn things around. Um, and one of the things I really wanna do, I mean, there's things like my blog, you know? I, when I was out in LA, I realized something that would make it easier for me to write on my blog more often. The reason I put that off is that when I sit down to write my blog, I, in my head, go, oh, you know, it's gonna take me so long, I don't have time. And so then I put it off and then I put it off, and right now it's been like eight days since I put up one of my blog posts. And um, I really wanna stay consistent with that because there's so much that I wanna share, and I don't want my videos to be 800, <laughs> 800 minutes long because a lot of the people that read my blog read it at work and they can't watch video, you know, because you can't turn up music and so on. So, you know, a big part of, of what I've really, what I'm focusing on and I'm really listening to all my Tony Robbins uh, DVDs and, and really working on, remember I said he said that, time mastery versus time management? Anyway, one of the things that I really want to do with my videos, and I've said this before, so we'll see if I just do all of this. You know, you can talk and you can talk and you can talk, or you can do it. But as I was working out today, a lot of these thoughts that I feel have been a key to turning things around for me this year um, came to mind. And you know, I usually come out here and I shoot a vlog, and it ends up being 10, 15 minutes because I make so many points. And I have a lot to say, and I want to make points, but I think what it's better for me to do is to really chunk things down. Not to mention the fact that I have a lot of really cool stuff to show you guys. A lot of great new um, technology, fun tools to show you. And I can't come out here and do you know, a video with all that stuff. So I'm gonna be breaking down things that I wanna to talk to you about, like physical things, you know, the cool phones and the Samsung camera, and show you how to use that. Um, and then some of the new gear um, from Under Armour, from Reebok, from Puma, from all of these cool brands that you're gonna love. But then I'm also like, you probably can't even read this, my handwriting is so ridiculous. Um, but I was thinking of, of so many things, or sometimes if I'm just on Pinterest and I see something, I'm like, and, and I wanna speak to that. One of the things, so I have on here, I'll just give you some previews of what I'm gonna talk about. Toning, and I'm not even gonna tell you what I'm talking about with these. Toning, progress, scale, you probably know what that's about. Cardio myths do your own thing, and skepticism. So I'm gonna talk about skepticism right now because here's the thing, I, you know, I don't, I'm sure you can see this, the, the degree of sweatiness going on here. Can you see in the back? Which by the way, I was just telling Amy and Michelle this morning, um, I feel so great about my progress. This right here, see that? That fat oh, is my number one pet peeve right now. And I know that sports bras are always gonna make some degree, but seriously people, you know, Sometimes when my mom will talk to me lately and she's like, I'm just worried you're gonna get too skinny. And I'm like, are you really worried I'm gonna get too skinny? I like to eat too much. And furthermore, when you can pinch like that, I'm sure that's more than an inch. People, that's what I'm talking about. Those are the things like when I say, some of you have written to me and some of you have been pretty bold where you're like, why are you getting so skinny? I'm not getting skinny. First of all, I, I, I have no desire to do that. But second of all, when I say I still have fat to lose, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. And it's really, it's just more so for me, like that, it bothers me aesthetically, okay? It also bothers me because it's, if you have extra fat, it's, no one's gonna tell you that that's great, okay? It's not good for you. There's no one that's gonna say, well actually, fat's been shown to, you know, we don't need to hibernate, we're not bears, okay? So um, the areas that <laughs> piss me off the most, 
um, would be this, that, that back part. And I can speak to that actually too when I do the progress thing. Because the, that, but I'm gonna get, I'm gonna stay focused. This is gonna be under 10 minutes. You're not gonna believe it. Um, I really don't like that. And then where else? Of course, I still have it. Really, most of the uh, fat that I have left is in my core. Um, so I'm really pleased with how I've lost fat everywhere else. Yada yada yada. Um, but anyway, the skepticism thing. I'm showing you the sweat that I have, and you know, again, how much sweat because, and the fact that I've burned 486 calories now. Caveat, I think it really should be probably about 400, 425 because I put my heart rate monitor on. It's my mom's birthday today and I ended up calling her while I was drinking my Pro Sculpt and getting ready to do cardio. So sometimes, you know, I'll be on the phone and I'll have this on and it's measuring, but you know, I think I, I might have burned 25, 50 calories um, before I even started. So not that it matters, you're still burning the calories, whether it's in your workout or not. But um, skepticism is something I wanted to address in that there's so many myths. I'm, I'm going, I'm going on to some of these other things, but the point that I'm making is about sex, skepticism. There are so many workouts, whether it's a DVD workout I have at home, or whether it's something you know at a at a at a gym, a class, whatever, that I and I'm sure you have had a certain degree of skepticism about. And what I want to tell you and encourage you to do is to not have skepticism about anything because you, you can be missing out. Um, for example, TurboFire, okay? Um, I have been friends with Shaleen. I, I don't even remember. I know I met Shaleen Johnson on Twitter and we started talking there, but I had never done her turbo kick stuff. Um, and, and the reason I had a, a level of skepticism is more about skepticism for me. It's not that I didn't think they were gonna be good workouts, but I had skepticism looking at those workouts going, oh, that's too much choreography, I can't do it, right? And so here she comes out with this turbo fire, these turbo fire workouts that clearly, those of you guys that watch my videos know now, I'm obsessed with. They are wonderful for, for keeping your arms, um, you know, helping your arms get ripped, right? And obviously killer sweat fest and so fun. But because I was skeptical and because I was skeptical either, maybe I thought it wasn't going to be a, a really high intensity workout, but I also was skeptical that I could do it. I, I missed out. Um, and I fueled my own skepticism by, you know, just not doing it. And I don't even know what made me try it, but finally I ordered it. And Corey, if you're watching this, I don't even want to hear it. Um, what else? Yoga. A lot of people haven't done yoga and they might look at yoga from afar and see some hokey picture of a dude in weird pants and be like, oh, what's that? It's a bunch of people standing around doing weird stuff. Okay. All I'm going to tell you, the second you go to your first yoga class and attempt to do anything, you'll realize that it is not anything for the lighthearted and it is intense and it is challenging and it is humbling beyond anything you can possibly imagine. I was, I guess I was skeptical about yoga for a while because back when, you know, Madonna first kind of made it notable, if you will, to the general public, I wanted to be into yoga. I bought yoga books and I would read the books. And I'm like, I'm not getting it, you know, and I, I think I bought yoga DVDs and I try them for five minutes and they just didn't work for me. It wasn't until I went to a class and it was Kelly down in Miami and she was actually fixing me and I realized how challenging it was and I sweat my ass off. That's when that level of skepticism left and all of a sudden, I mean, it's one of the greatest things in my life. Um, what else? Um, Stairmaster at, at the gym. Um, you know, those roving stairs, the kind that circle, not the, the old school Stairmaster of the 19, late 1980s. I used to look at that and go, that looks so stupid. Why would I waste my time on that? That's one of the hardest things you can do for cardio at the gym. But I was skeptical and I avoided it and I missed out on something. That is one of my favorite things to do for cardio at the gym other than just getting on the treadmill and running like a maniac. Um, walking, okay? People can have a, a level of skepticism. Is, is walking gonna be a good workout? I'm hitting 10 minutes so I'm gonna shut up any second. You know, they might look at something and go, oh, you know, how can I really get a good workout in walking? Guess what? Walking's better than sitting on the couch. Furthermore, if you're at the gym and you get on a treadmill and you start playing with being flat and then going up to an incline, back up and down, let me tell you, quite often, and I've measured this with my polar, okay, I've compared a running workout on the treadmill versus walking with the incline, I can get equally as much of a sweat fest with um, walking and doing that incline straight, you know, all the way up to the top incline at level 15, all the way down and back and forth. Let me tell you, talk about working your tush, don't be skeptical. So my message, I'm at 10 minutes about skepticism today is 
get rid of your skepticism. Open yourself up to trying new things because I guarantee you, if you're skeptical about things, you're probably just scared. Um, number two, if you're skeptical about things, you're, you're totally missing out. You're, you're screwing yourself over, especially if you have a desire to get more active, to get more fit, to have more fun. Don't be skeptical. Don't be a moron. And I stay close to 10 minutes. Yes. What can I say?